So we are now just about a week away from the release of the first beta of iOS 17. It is shaping up to be an amazing update based on all the rumors and reports regarding the new features and changes that are coming to this update. But when will it be released to the public and which devices will be supported by iOS 17. So let's go ahead and take a look at all this and see when to expect iOS 17 to go to the public and also the public beta, which this year will be way more important and a lot more people will be updating to that. So let's go ahead and first talk about the public beta. So taking a look here at the calendar. So we're waiting for the first dev beta to be right here on June 5th and you can expect the public beta to come at around like five to six weeks after the release of the first dev beta. So I would expect it somewhere right here, maybe July like 17th, maybe a week earlier, but July 17th or 18th are my dates that I'm expecting iOS 17 to go out as the first public beta, which of course will be very easy to install on your device just by doing it through the settings app. Now, of course, all summer long, we will get new betas of iOS 17 and then the final public release in September. Now, this year should be no exception to last year. So we have seen actually a lot of releases during the past few years in September, basically mid-September. So we had iOS 13, September 19th, iOS 14 was on September 16th, then iOS 15 was September 20th. Last year, iOS 16 was September 12th. So basically what Apple does, whenever they introduce a new device, they will do it at around the beginning of the week. So this year I'm expecting it to happen either right here, 5th or 6th of September, or maybe even 12th or 13th, where they will introduce the new iPhone 15. Now after the, the introduction that week, it will go on pre-order, which is on Friday right here. And then it releases to the public the next Friday. So basically it will be either 15th or 22nd when the iPhone will go out to the public. But of course iOS 17 will come a few days earlier so you can expect iOS 17 at the Monday of that week when the iPhone comes out. So my guess here basically my best prediction based on the history of how Apple does things. So it will be September 11th or it will be September 18th. These are the two dates where I'm expecting iOS 17 to be released to the public. And now let's talk about supported devices. Now this year, the only devices we can talk about whether they will be supported or not are the iPhones with the A11 chip. So basically the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and the iPhone 10. Those are the only devices that have that chip and the oldest devices that currently support iOS 16. So we have like two different sources here and they basically are saying two different things. One right here, which is a Twitter account that is anonymous, but actually it has just like predicted a lot of things and a lot of things have been right spot on. So right here it says that the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and the iPhone 10 won't be actually supported by iOS 17. And we have then another one, another source from Mac rumors actually on their like forum where someone says that the devices that are supported on iOS 16 will also be supported by iOS 17. So this is basically a source that actually has gotten quite a lot of things right. So we don't basically know what's happening here, but in my prediction, Apple will drop support for those devices. Now, the reason for that is that the A11 devices are devices that are affected by like a security bug, which Apple cannot patch. That's why I believe Apple will actually drop support for those devices. They did last year with iOS 16, they dropped quite a lot of devices. So we had the iPhone SE, the originals, we had the iPhone 7, which we did not expect actually, but Apple did that. And this year wouldn't be any surprise if they actually also drop support. So I'm expecting Apple to drop support for the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and also the iPhone 10. So that is it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more iOS 17 videos. And I'll see you on the next one.